Can we just thank the Holy Spirit this morning for his presence that is evident this morning? We thank you, Lord. Can we also just begin to clap our hands and give God praise and give him glory for what he's doing in our lives, that he's going to get the glory out of every test, out of every trial, out of every situation that we're going through in our lives.
it's already done. Somebody shout to our God in this room. If you're watching online, he's right there in your home. Wherever you are, God is with you. And we worship you, our King, for there's nobody like you. We honor you. We adore you. We love to sing of your praises. Does anybody love to worship the Lord? Today, I just wanted you to take a moment, close your eyes and focus in on, on the Lord. And as you begin to focus on his presence, everything else just fades away. Nothing else, nothing else matters when you're with him. Depression fades, sickness fades, uh, uh, heartache fades. He's near to the broken heart. And as your eyes are closed, I want to read you Psalm 8 in the Passion. It says, Yahweh, our sovereign God, your glory streams from the heavens above, filling the earth with the majesty of your name. People everywhere see your splendor. You have built a stronghold by the songs of children. Strength rises with the chorus of infants. This kind of praise has the power to shut Satan's mouth childlike worship will silence the madness of those who oppose you look at the splendor of your skies your creative genius glowing in the heavens when i gaze at your moon and your stars mounted like jewels in their settings i know you are the fascinating artist who fashioned it all but i have to ask this question why would you bother with puny mortal man or care about human beings Yet what honor you have given to men, created only a little lower than Elohim, crowned with glory and magnificence. You have delegated to them rulership over all you have made, with everything under their authority, placing earth itself under the feet of your image bearers. All the created order and every living thing of earth, sky, and sea, the wildest beasts, and all that move in the path of the sea, everything is in submission to Adam's son. You are Yahweh, our sovereign God. Your glory streams from the heavens above, filling the earth with the majesty of your name. People everywhere see your splendor. We see your splendor today, God. The work of your hands is beautiful to us. You are an eternal God, and we worship you forever. You are Alpha. And oh
Lord, we just thank you for this moment. Lord, we just thank you and uh, 